Let's go. So on the front cover, we can see it says Art of Little Nightmares 2. And we've got some eyeballs. I don't know if this is inside the signal tower or not. But that's pretty weird, that is. Okay, let's look on the back. It says Bandai Namco and Tarsia Studios, people who make it. And we can see some more eyes and some meat. Pretty weird, that is. Okay, let's take a look at the first page. Okay, wait, something just dropped out. Uh... Okay, here we've got Mono and Six. And this side we've just got some eyes. And then here. Uh, I'm gonna re I'm, I will read this out. Ever since the release of the first game, we've had many questions about how we came up with the look of Little Nightmares. The simple answer in iteration, a long and painful process where we work to find the personality of this world and everything in it. Getting this right is essential not only for players but also to inspire us as developers and keep our minds focused within this book is a selection of the concept work for little nightmares 2 uh, not all of it shows up in the final game but it all helped us get there we hope you enjoy it tarsia studios that's pretty cool of them to do it and then you're wondering what this thing was that dropped out this is just like I think this is like a message again, but it's in different languages. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the pictures then. So here we've got, I think we've got some guy inside of a cage. And then we've got a pig on like a, a hill. And we've got, oh, I think we've got a trap. So if you probably stood on that, you'd probably fall uh, into that hole there. Here we've got this stone, which will probably drop onto someone. No, oh, yeah, there we go. It dropped onto someone. And then here we've got some uh, bird feeders, I think. And bird houses. And then here we've got some um, hanging up. And then here we've got... Does he have a head or not? I don't think he's got a head. And this guy's like hanging off a tree. That's pretty weird, that is. Okay, so next up, we've got just the forest, I think. We've got, I think that's mono on probably a log. Well, this bit was... I think this bit is actually in the game. And you've got to go up this. And then there's like Hunter's Shack is over here. And then next we've got this big ravine here. Which is probably going to have to jump across. And we've got a hill. And then we've got probably some parkour that Manoite has to do. Uh, Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this bit's in the game as well, I think. And then you've got Jumper down to here. Here... The log going up. Here is another ravine. Oh, and this is pretty cool. I like this. And it's mono without his hat on. And then we've got the TVs. And guys, here's, here we've got mono or six. I'm not sure. That could have been six then. In a bucket. Here we've got like a watchtower. Uh, and then the hunters up there. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's going to be a cool bit to play. And it'll be very stealthy. And then here we've got some concept art of uh, watchtowers. And then... Oh, wait, what? Mono and Six have a gun. And the hunter's stuck in a bear trap. Wait, what? I wonder if that happens in the actual game. That would be so cool. Okay, next up. Uh, we've got the hunter's shack. And then... I'm not going to go over every single picture as this video will be like an hour long. And then we've just got this hunter shack and here we've got them crossing, Mono and Six crossing a log. Here we've got them going through the woods and here we've got a deer. So I'm curious if we'll see like animals in this game. And then, oh, we've got lots of gnomes. Is this like the gnome's house? I guess the gnomes live here then. And we've got Mono down there or Six. Okay, next page. This page is of the school. We've got some of the bullies. They're just doing bully things. And then, look, they're playing Hangman. <laughs> That's kind of funny. 
Oh, that's pretty creepy. Look at that. We've got like the teacher turning around to check on the students, and then we've got the runaway kid, the guy from the DLC of the first game. Don't know if he's going to show up because didn't he die? Didn't six eat him? I don't know. And then here we've got another school. Here we've got like a uh, we've got like a dinner lady. That's horrible. And then we've got like a, a dining area for all the bullies in the school. Yeah, that's definitely like a dinner lady. That's that's disgusting. I hate that. And then next page. And with it, the next page has lots of like toys. I'm not gonna go over every single one. And then we've got the bullies, cracked heads. And then we've got Mono, I think, wearing a bully hat. That the, he's wearing the head. That's pretty messed up. That is. And I don't know what the hell this is. That's definitely not a bully. And then, oh, we've got like a science class, probably in the school area. And here we've got, uh, I think this guy's called the doctor. I hate him so much. He like crawls on the ceiling. And, but he's like massive. He's like big chungus. Oh, wait, I don't want to go. Over here we've got the hospital. That's pretty creepy. And I don't know if that's like a mannequin. I think these are like mannequins or patients or whatever they're called. Oh, yeah, and we've got some more mannequins and patients here. And we've got one on wheels. That's pretty funny. I like that. And then we've got the faces of mannequins. That one's pretty weird. It's got absolutely no face. And we've got a mannequin here. That's pretty creepy. I like that, though. And then here we've got another mannequin. That's like a basic mannequin. Here we've got another one. Lots of mannequins. Uh, here we've got the beds. I saw this bit in the trailer. And you've got to do like parkour over the beds. Here we've got the doctor crawling down. And then, I'm not too sure what this is. And then here we've got probably the hospital. Um, I'm not too sure what this is either. I think this is like another bit in the hospital. This bit's probably, I think this is inside the signal tower. I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, what the hell is that? That's weird. Okay, and next we've got. But some more beds for the exact same picture. Here we've got a guy leaning on a bed. And we've got lots of people probably watching TV is a thing. And then we've got mono thing or six. And then we've got some more mannequins, I think, there. Here we've got some more mannequins. It's like Oh, what the hell? That is horrible. This game's gonna be terrifying to play. Look at his face, that is, like his eyes are, the, the eye sockets are way too big for his eyes, it's really creepy, don't like that at all. Then here we've got some, the hospital, but there's things like hanging up. That looks like a bit from the game Inside, or Limbo, I'm not too sure. And then here we've got another bit in the hospital, we've got some people over here, I think they're kids, and then here we've just got some TVs. And then some little kids here. I wonder if these are actually in the game when we come across like other little kids. And then we've got, uh, I think we've got a guy sitting and watching the TV. And that's definitely six, that is. I'm not too sure where Mono is, though. Wait, is that, look at this. Mono doesn't have any bag on and that's what he looks like underneath. Well, that's cool. That's really cool. I didn't know he would look like that. What if have thought he had long hair. And then we've got a train. That's a bit of a thin man. I definitely know that. And here we've got a train station. And then here we've got another train. Oh, and there's the thin man. And then Mono and Six are probably trying to hide. Okay, next page. Here. Wait, what the hell is that? Okay, I don't know if this is part of a signal tower chapter. And then there's like this weird gloop. I'm going to call him the bloop. <laughs> I know, it's kind of funny. And then here we've got, like, a TV monster. A giant baby. I don't... Right, I saw this on the stickers of a TV edition. It was, like, a giant six. I don't know what's happened to her. But... And then Mono's, like, holding a hand. And here we've got some weird, like, goop. I don't know. And then we've got some more goop on the ceiling. That's ter... That is just terrifying, that is. Look... Look at the faces, they're, they're watching down on Mono, that is really weird, this game. 
and then here we've got TV. Here we've got, I'm not too sure what that is. There's some people, like a family, watching TV. Definitely a normal family. And then we've got the Thin Man. I don't know if that's like a tornado. I'm not sure. Here we've got some goop coming out of like the side of this building. And then we've got some goop coming out of TVs. There's a lot of goop in this book. Okay, here we've got... Yeah, these are called the viewers or townsfolk. And they always like watch TV. So I don't know how they're going to be enemies. And then we've got some more townsfolk watching the TVs. This guy is watching the TV on his sofa. But they're all watching TVs. And this one, I'm not too sure what's going on in this one. And then this one, and this one. Um, They're just like, there's nothing really happening in these ones. It's just like backgrounds. And then, I think this is in the hospital. This bit's probably in the hospital as well. This bit's probably in the hospital. And then, look at this woman, she's got no face. That's really creepy. And then this, oh, that this woman's got, I think there's a TV in her head. Okay, this game is just weird. Next up, we've got some clothes um, going into a TV. And then we've got some signs. Um, and we've got a pig there, good old pig. And that's pretty much it to say about that. Well, this bit, this bit, we've got like the tower, the towers, and that tower's like sunk into the ground. And then we've got some more towers. We've got four kids here, and there's the Finn Man. Oh, and there's got lightning. So I'm just curious if we'll meet some more kids in this game. Um, there we go. There's some more pictures of a tower, tower, and then we've got a kid over there, and then there's a kid there. I just don't understand why these towers are bending. Oh, we've got the Finn Man. He's too tall for the door. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, this is awesome. Look at him. He's in the TV. He's coming out of the TV. I don't know why he's got no hat in there. And he's out as hiding. Hiding and then his head fell off. But look at his face here. That's so funny. That That's just not scary. That just looks like something from like a funny game, like a comedy game. And then look at his face. He's so happy. Well, that's pretty, that, that one's pretty creepy. And then we've got the Finn Man again, but not he doesn't look so thin there. And then there's that picture. And then there's a train. <sighs> Wait, what? So this is the Finn Man when he's a kid. So this is baby Finn Man, kid Finn Man, uh, teenage Finn Man, young adult Finn Man, and this is the Finn Man, adult Finn Man. And then we've got, see, look, there he is. He's in like a little room. And then we've got TVs round. Look, he's growing up. That's really creepy. Well, I don't know why that's creepy. It's just it's weird. Whoa, what the heck is it? I think this guy, Mono's gave him some money. He's making him some soup, I think. And then this guy was in a picture from the first game. He had he had like a horrible head. And he's like a barber. And then we've got, here we've got a runaway kid. Some more towers. And there he is again, the barber guy. Oh, oh. So it's really hard to go through these pages. And we've got the big old six. She seems to have broke a foot, I don't know. And then we've got that picture from the front cover. Sorry. These pages are stuck together. And we've got some creepy faces. Can you imagine this guy being under your bed? I don't even know what he is. And then, no, that might be the doctor, I'm not too sure. And then we've got some more, and then we've got like a brain guy. And then we've got, look, we're in like a snowy area. Oh, that's awesome. And then Mono's pulling six. Six is probably like really cold. Ooh, right. This is this is exciting. This is, we've got Mono. This is with a kid from the comic. And I've I've done a video of the comics on TikTok and Lime School 13. Go and follow me on TikTok if you want. And then another girl from the comic, another girl, another boy from the comic. And then this is a weird boy in the hole. From a comic, and this is six before she gets a raincoat, and then that's it's pretty cool. So, and that's pretty much it. That's that's such an awesome book. That is, I definitely recommend it if you want to read something. Okay, guys, that was the little numbers to art book. That was pretty cool. And now, just go like and subscribe if you want to. And now, I'm gonna get the hell out of here.